The history of the Circassian people is closely intertwined with the development of the Circassian horse breed. The Circassians created their own breed of horses, which was intended for war and was primarily a war horse. Since the Circassians had to constantly resist numerous nomadic conquerors, the daily and military life of the Circassians was associated with the horse, and most importantly, the cult of the noble knight rider, who until the end of the 19th century set the standard for a man in Circassian society. The Circassian horse is an integral part of Circassian identity and has played a major role in Circassian history through the centuries. This isn't just an animal, but a loyal companion and friend. The Circassian horse is one of the oldest native breeds of horse. It has been bred by Circassian tribesmen in the mountainous northern Caucasus since at least the 1500s. Due to the fact that horse breeding was mostly developed in Kabarta, the horse breed became known as Kabardian, although Circassians call it Adghesh, Circassian horse. The Circassian breed emerged through centuries of selective breeding, resulting in resilient animals. The Circassian horse is considered by many to be the best mountain horse. They can thrive in high altitude conditions, maintaining balance on slippery mountain paths. Their blood has a heightened oxidizing capacity, so their bodies function better at high altitudes than most horses. With remarkable physical strength and endurance, Circassian horses can cover over 100 kilometers without food or rest in various road conditions. The animal is renowned for its intelligence and obedience. They have an uncanny ability to pick out a safe path home even in thick fog and darkness. All of these features were developed due to the conditions of year-round herd maintenance in different vertical zones. As Edmund Spencer said, the great secret seems to be kindness. The horse is never beaten, consequently her spirit remains unbroken. The absence of spurs exemplifies the unique connection between rider and horse. Only a thin, non-painful whip is used. Circassians treated the upbringing of their horses with the same attention and responsibility as they treated the upbringing of children. The Circassian horse has a strong backbone and ideal leg. In the old days, horses were not even shooed. A small, elegant head, saber-like hind legs so that the horse moves more nimbly in the mountains, and an oblique shoulder blade giving the uniqueness of the Kabardian horse. A distinctive feature by which one can easily distinguish a Circassian horse breed from another is the profile of the head with a characteristic hump. Circassian horses are currently used for riding, tourism and endurance racing. They are known and used far beyond the Caucasus. The Circassian saddle and headband achieved remarkable lightness and perfection, but that's the topic for another video.